Welcome back. A landmark settlement could dramatically change the way we buy and sell homes. It could also potentially lower home prices. Now, if the settlement is approved by a federal court, the National Association of Realtors, which is the largest trade group in the nation, would pay $418 million to settle class action lawsuits over broker commissions. As part of the settlement, they'll admit to no wrongdoing. The settlement would also allow buyers and sellers to negotiate fees and compensation with agents up front, eliminating that 6% sales commission that's so common in many home sales. For more, let's bring in Erin Sykes. She's the chief economist and real estate wealth advisor at Nest Seekers International. Erin, good to have you with us this morning. So talk to us. What's the impact of this? Who is this going to affect most? So I actually have to disagree with the opening statement in that things are not going to change that much. Now, this allegation is that there was price fixing and that there was a standardized 6% commission split between the buyer and the seller on every single transaction. And reminder, this case goes back to the state of Missouri. And real estate is actually governed locally, so we're... Um, licensed state by state and then each municipality also has different standards and never never was there a standardized six percent fee it was always negotiable so the only change here is how things are going to be listed in mls and rather than having the buyer's fee listed transparently on mls be it two percent two and a half percent or three percent now that's going to be a conversation topic for the agents. Did a lot of home buyers maybe not realize that that was something they could negotiate? Maybe that's one of the reasons this is so eye-opening for so many? You know, I think maybe a first-time home buyer might not be aware of it, but frankly, as an agent who does 50 transactions a year, the number of times I have actually received the full 3% commission on a buy side is very rare, maybe 10 out of those 50 times. So I think the most important thing is having an agent who can advocate on your behalf. And really the goal is to get the deal done. And that's why we negotiate these fees. Now they might be written in a listing agreement one way, but in order to get the transaction across the line, we are negotiating them every single time. So, I mean, for the average home buyer and seller, now they're going into this wondering about commissions. What can both sides do to ensure they are getting the best deal here? What do you think these negotiations do look like? So I think that it's still going to be a cooperative commission structure. And all that means is that the seller is paying their broker the commission and be that four, five, six percent, we don't know because it will be negotiated. But then the split between that seller's broker and the buyer's broker is what the conversation is going to be. So it is important for that buyer to have the conversation up front with their broker about what type of commission are you expecting to get paid? Now that said, this is already baked into the price and it's like any other industry. When you buy a car, when you buy insurance, there's always a middleman, a salesperson that is somehow getting paid. So nobody's expecting charity work here. And I think that the most important thing is to make sure you have that agent advocating on your behalf and making sure that they are a strong agent because I do think what's going to happen here is there will be a fallout because we have so many licensed agents in the United States, perhaps too many. So trimming the fat a little bit would not be the worst case scenario. All right, Aaron Sykes, thanks so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it.